Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Monday morning, April 15th, Mammoth Lakes, California. Beautiful day out, a little cloudy, sun's starting to pop through. And uh, today we're gonna get back after it. Got a busy week of things ahead. And uh, first things first, we're gonna go check out the snow removal that we did over the weekend. Kind of look at that pad i'll take you guys through that we'll see uh how good we did two days four guys um that thing was really thick so we still got a little bit more time up there today and uh hopefully we'll get it wrapped up today that way uh that thing will be on track for uh starting work around the first of the month so about two more weeks we can start that and uh it'll give it ample time to get kind of dried out everything will be cleared off the pad broken up all the stuff that's broken up should start melting real quickly so uh stick around we're gonna make the rounds on monday all right let's get on up the hill and see how good they did on saturday and sunday up here on laverne it's pretty calm today that wind came through the last couple days and now it's nice and calm no wind so that's nice. It's supposed to be uh, in the 60s this week, so we're looking forward to that. Some warm weather, get some of the snow melted down, and May is just around the corner. And we're hoping to get a good start in May and get a lot of stuff done here in May. And just have a good summer, um, getting a solid amount of work done this summer. And then, uh, do it all over again next year. Yeah, that's a really cool house there. What a view that house has. Probably one of the best lots up here, I would say. All right, so we had a couple days of work here. You can see the storage over here. Got this all opened up. And we're gonna go take a look at the uh, pad right now. Here's the garage area. Got this cut down. Started out right there, level one, level two, level three. So it's a lot of snow on this thing, but we're gonna get it all broken down. It should go quickly. So that wall is like 10 feet high, but still got some material here to get uncovered. But we're definitely in a lot better shape than we were. Got this whole area cut in back here. Got Sadie and Butter getting their exercise. <clears throat> They've been sniffing around, running around. They got that out of their system this morning, so we can move on about our day here. What a beautiful morning it is here, guys. Just beautiful. Very nice. Come on, let's go. Let's go. A little bit of cloud cover, spotty. Slight breeze starting to kick up, but not, not anything too serious just yet. Looks like we're gonna be in for a good day here, guys. As you can see, it's nice and sunny out today. We are headed down towards Crowley. We're gonna go check on uh, some progress down here. See what these guys are up to. Got a bunch of uh, schedule 40 pipe that we need to get cut to length and drill some holes in it. 
<clears throat> so I think we're gonna cut everything to uh, size in the field and then run it up to the shop and drill the holes. It's at 80 something holes, so it'll go a lot faster if we just take it to the shop and do it on the press. But um, let's head on down and see how, how things are going. But to my co-pilot, Sadie's back there in the back. She always just kind of crashes out the back. But Bud likes to ride in that seat. He thinks he's a person. Crowley's looking good. I just love this area down here. It's such a nice, nice place to be. Kind of tough to get to certain times of year, but other than that, it's a great place to be. Well, here's quite a sight. I'm gonna show you guys right here. These guys are over here working. And these, they got a bunch of deer. Look at these deer right here. They're just chilling. They're just hanging out, waiting for, waiting for something. Let's see what Sadie and Bud do. Hopefully they don't chase them. Come on, go this way, guys. Oh, they just took off. Hey, Sadie, no, no. No, no, Sadie, no. Okay, the sight. Not looking too bad. Looks pretty straight down through there. See, all of these are set. And, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Ready, almost ready for concrete here in a couple two more days This side's five, and that one's four. Four or something, yeah. Four, four. Sadie, she's just trying to get in trouble. It's warm down here today, guys. It's got to be in the 70s. Sun's out. These guys got it under control, so we're going to head on back into town. Just had to figure out some measurements for our pipe. Got that figured out. Go ahead. Come on, Sadie. Let's go. Come on. Go. Get up there. Get up there. You can't beat the uh, view that some of these houses have right here. This, this mountain range right here is spectacular.
All right, we're gonna head on down to the warming hut, get some dinner with everyone. <laughs> you gotta do it as a short man. Yeah. All right. Owen, what happened to your teeth? <laughs> Dying the contract. <laughs> what happened, bro? Dying the contract, big boy. Dying the contract, big boy. Dying the contract. Uh, yeah, Owen had an incident today at work. When it's teeth versus Milwaukee battery power drill. Battery the Milwaukee power battery drill power drill one. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in for a nice, lovely evening at the warming house. Uh, uh, Our boy Joey. Uh, Joey, by chance, do you have some room temperature water? <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday. I think it's April 15th, I believe. And uh, back into the spring thaw. Spring thaw is upon us. Pretty chilly. Last couple mornings, you can see the the frost on the on the vehicles here. And uh, it's just a little after 7 a.m. Everything's everybody's getting rolling. We've got a few stops to make today. We're going to uh, check out a, a new project, possibly that's up in the up in the knolls. Um, guys wanting to build a house up there. Got a call yesterday. Going to go meet him. There's uh, the uh, solar project we're doing down down the grade. There is Laverne, the snow removal. Uh, we had three days in that. Going to go check that. That was a ton of snow. A lot more than what what I thought. So uh, that was kind of uh, a little bit more than expected, but we got it broke up and I'm looking at the long term. There's nothing in the long term. It's warm weather. So that's really going to help us for getting our, our start on the 1st of May, somewhere right around that first week of May. We've got uh, some plates that we have to make for the GTH project, which is that huge um, metal building that's down by the airport that is just a muddy mess right now. We'll, we'll go take a look at that and see how the mud's doing. It should be, uh, it should be getting back under control, you know? And, um, and that, uh, that thaw should be nice and steady where everything's just kind of flowing out at a nice even pace and it's not just swamping the whole area. Um, those guys are in a hurry to get that thing going. So we're trying our best to uh, comply with that. Uh, weather permitting snow melts it looks like we should be able to get in there you know sometime next week and start digging those footings and setting up those piers there's uh, 49 piers that we have to set up on that thing and um, the steel plates that I was just talking about those those are gonna be custom fabricated plates base plates for the uh, for the steel columns for that building so we're gonna be making those in the shop um, yeah, so just all kinds of stuff starting to come out of the woodwork right now. And, uh, we went from sitting around, not doing anything. I had a really slow winter. It was, uh, like I said, borderline depressing how slow it was, but, uh, things are coming back full circle and, uh, looks like we're going to make up for that slow and we're going to be, uh, just, uh, gangbusters here. So let's get to it. stop in here at the office real quick <sighs> gotta look at these plans <clears throat> so here's our plan table got lots of lots of different things going on here Kind of our to-do list. That's an old, old one there, but uh, it's time to start getting back into this stuff here. So this project here is a big, big building. 
can see that's the building there parking lot uh, about 14,000 square feet total so it's no uh, it's definitely a uh, a good sized project with um, quite a bit of moving parts here so uh, we got to really have our our head on and be in our game for this one here I'm gonna get working on this and I'm gonna head out I'm gonna take these plans down to the shop so we've got these base plates here let's see where are they in the S sheets there they are so it's gonna be like s102 yeah so Basically, we're having to make these plates that go on the bottom of the columns here, and they're welded to the column. So, um, talk to the steel manufacturer. <laughs> he said, oh, that's not my scope of work, um, which unfortunately for the owner ends up being a change order for him. But this was, this was a project started with a previous GC. Uh, we didn't have any involvement in until late last year. And um, so I'm finding some of these things. And I was asking about these these base plates because they're welded to the bottom of the column and we need those to do the concrete. You can see here, here's a section where the uh, the column ends up five inches below um, finished floor. And so there's a shear plate that goes on the bottom there and it welds to the column. And those technically, I mean, those should have been like in a, in a big box that came with the building. And then we grab all those plates out and we... We hang all those plates when we get ready to pour our piers, and all we got to do is get to town. But now, since the metal building guy's not providing those, I got to take these plans down to the shop, and we're going to uh, get Dan and Mike set up on on uh, fabbing these, and we got 49 of them to do. So let's get to it. Real quick before we leave, I'll show you this one here. This is a new one on our plate. Um, Precision craft log and timber home. Um, this one's got a lot of SIPS panels. I don't know if anybody's familiar with SIPS, but it's a prefabricated panel system um, that most of this house is done with that. Uh, they're 12 inch thick um, panels. They got this big foam piece inside of them, which is pretty cool for this climate up here. It's uh, definitely a, uh, it's kind of a newer system. Um, that people are starting to use more and more. You'll see it being used more and more um, up in these higher climates, these colder uh, temperature ranges. So this one's got some timber framing in it, um, which is a company out of Oregon. Um, it's got some conventional framing and then it's got these SIPS panels. This was where we're up there doing that snow removal right now. So uh, we're prepping the site as we speak. A lot of the material is already there and we're going to get um, we're going to get the uh, framing package for the conventional framing that's going to get dropped somewhere around the first of the month and the boys are going to get ready to go to town on that thing and start uh, whipping that thing into shape so looking forward to getting getting a good start on this one here and uh, yeah we're going to keep it moving just wanted to show you that lot up on Laverne. This is uh, this is the house that'll be going on that. We'll, we'll probably pop in there and take another look at that um, today, so you can kind of see how much snow they got removed. And I'll I'll just try to keep you know keep these projects, um, keep you guys updated on these projects as they move forward. Here's our lovely office. I just love this little office. We started with this thing and. Uh, it wasn't much. Actually, at one point in time, when I first came to Mammoth, I was sleeping in that room back there. Don't tell anybody. I'm not supposed to do that here in Mammoth. But this was actually a bedroom for me. And um, just so blessed to be able to uh, move out of this thing. And, um, you know, now the things that we're doing is so exciting. And I, I just love the way we've got this office set up here. I've got the clothing line. Don't forget, you guys, um, we've got a bunch of new stuff coming out keep checking with the website you'll probably start seeing um, right now all of this older stuff that we had from last year is all on like a fire sale we're uh it's anywhere from 30 percent and more off we're offering all kinds of uh, little goodies with uh stuff on the store so you know check out the store support plow brothers we really appreciate everything you guys are doing for us 
we want to keep the channel moving in the right direction and uh and just make it fun for everyone that's involved so uh we're probably gonna do um a warming hut gift card giveaway soon um so anybody that's in california or planning to come to mammoth in the near future you're going to want to participate in that i've got a whole bunch of warming hut gift cards that i want to give out um, that'll be coming soon so uh, just keep watching the channel and uh, comment on the videos where well, the engagement really helps so when you're commenting on the videos when you're sharing the videos um, i'll try to comment back um, that's the whole idea with the youtube algorithm is you know you're supposed to uh, have engagement and, and the more engagement the more views um the more videos we're going to end up making because that keeps us motivated to make these videos. So appreciate the support, all the following, and uh, we'll see you guys.